In today's video, we find out if my $1,000 spent on TCG player was worth it. What's up guys, we're back with another TCG player $1,000 video where we're gonna be checking in on year one and the halfway point of year two. But before we do that, I am gonna be giving away a $50 TCG player giveaway if you're international and just be a $50. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below which card do you think was our best decision and what card should we invest in for year three. All right, first of all, I think I want to check in on the first year and see how it's doing. Cause we didn't actually do this in the last video. We didn't check in on our original $1,000 we did in 2022. So let's see how those are doing. We're gonna start off with the Blue Eyes White Dragon Ultimate Rare. Okay, here we have the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I think we had a lightly played uh, first dead and then an unlimited uh, near mint or something like that. So we have 595 for the lightly played. Let's go back here. So lightly played ulti, we originally spent 25. So uh, yeah, obviously that one's not looking so good. Lost $20 on that one, not great. It was also supposed to be near mint and ended up being lightly played. That really was the main cause. Let's see, we can double check on the uh, the near mint as well. Let's see if we take the light play off. Uh, if it was near mint, we would be at 1690, not terrible, but it's not. All right, so what's the unlimited at? 335, man, these are so cheap. 335 so we're losing money on that one the first year i think we picked some pretty bad stuff it kind of all got killed let's go for silent swordsman this was also supposed to be near mint okay silent swordsman level five lightly played first dead is going for 39.99 at the moment 39.99 it's kind of been where it's been at the entire time as you can see we've lost 46 dollars on that purchase of 87 54 percent de decrease not great uh let's see if it was near mint if it was actually near mint i think last time we would have actually made money yeah 120 so it's a lot more valuable that's what it really should be at but i didn't return it and you know now we're just out of money that's why you should return stuff if it's not the right condition next up number 17 leviathan dragon i know for a fact that this thing is not doing so well it has been one of our worst investments it's been terrible uh near mint we are at 49.96 over 50 percent decrease on a 110 dollars purchase 60 dollars off 55 percent decrease disgustingly bad i still have all these cards by the way i haven't gotten rid of any of them lightning storm i mean obviously no reason to when we've lost 50 percent of our money let's look up lightning storm uh starlight yeah this one has been fairly consistent but just wait till it gets a 25th anniversary then it's gonna get destroyed uh it's already down to 180 anyway oh my goodness that is rough solemn warning up next i felt good about that starlight investment that was before they they uh told us about the old 25th anniversaries now that would have that would have changed my mind on what we were picking up Okay, near mint unlimited 4490 this the, just all these cards are don't, going down guys Yu-Gi-Oh! it's in a downturn everything's going down all right losing 36 percent on the solemn warning i think we're gonna lose on everything evil hero a dusty gold because the ones that we normally they help us out like the starlight is not doing so good so at the moment if you're looking to invest in single cards for Yu-Gi-Oh, not looking great. 245, uh, yeah, this one's way down. It's had reprints, so that was a terrible decision. I don't know why I went for that one. I thought maybe it wouldn't get reprinted by the end of the year, and then it would go up. Stratos Ulti, I think this one could be around the same price, maybe a little bit more. Oh, look at it. Every single price is tanking. This is so bad. Uh, 123.90, okay, it's at least sort of in the ballpark, but that's another one I could see getting a 25th rare. Okay, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Come on, Ghost Rare. You can do this. I, this was actually a nice condition Ghost Rare. Uh, uh, so I have hope this thing was near mint. It could be good. Come on. Uh, where's the first dead? No first dead showing. There's no first dead option for some reason. First dead 115.99. That's a, is that, what is that? Oh, we still lost money. <laughs> Everything's down, man. All right. Finally, the warriors triumph structure deck. Come on, go up structure deck. First dead. Come on, come on. 94 95 limitless games come on i've actually been there on the channel i'm mad at you guys now i'm mad at you guys for this <laughs> 94 95 just kidding i'm just kidding okay so overall uh, our one thousand dollar purchase on you know 2022 we're gonna go into 2023 the current year but we spent a thousand sixty three cents plus tax keep that in mind we now have 661 dollars we've lost 30 340 dollars and 34 percent of our money so it's a great start 2022 was a great investment guys all right year two we spent more on this one fyi i did tell you guys I might sell some of the cards. The Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmares. I have a second tab here. I sold all of these for this amount. Ironically, you can look here. The Light Plate sold for in the 55, 56 range. Near Mint, I sold for 40. So ironically, the uh, the Near Mint sold for less because it took longer to sell the Near Mints versus the Light Plays. But I did still make 80, 87% on these, 81% on these, 37% on those. Overall, we made $292, which means we increased about 118 bucks, 68% of our money. Not bad. So we've locked in that price. Everything else we still have. So let's check and see if anything else has made money and if we should sell anything else. All right, 60 cents. So it's about 60 
50 cent each before it was $1.19. So not looking too good there. We lost $1.58, 47% of our money. Not good. Very small amount, so not a big deal. Dark Arm Dragon, we got a ghost trail. Let's see if that's gone up. I'm guessing that with the 25th anniversary rare, it is probably not. Yep, here we go. 25th anniversary rarity. Notice how the, you know, oh look, Dark Arm Dragon got a 25th. Bah. So we're looking at $37.99, which is not a terrible tank, but it is definitely down. All right, Colossal Fighter Ulti. I don't think this has gotten a reprint recently, so maybe? Come on. Give us something, Colossal Fighter. Oh, 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 oh look at this. How? How do you do? $119.94. All right, let's see. Okay, we're at a $31, almost $32 increase, 36%. All right, we're seeing something, guys. Our investment's looking better here. Maybe we should, we should probably sell that. That's an $85 card. No, we bought it for 88. So it was down three and now it's up that much. Probably because Edison has surged a lot recently. So that probably helps. Uh, it's used in a little bit of decks there. Uh, we have Ally of Justice Catastrophe. This is also an ulti. All right, come on, Catastrophe. Ooh, Edison, baby. Time to sell, sell, sell. We got 90, really 92 with that shipping. We'll call it 90 still, but if it wasn't for that, it'd be 100. Okay, so there's two of these. So 90 is a pretty solid price. There's two of them available. But we are still up from 70. So it's a $20 increase, 29%. Looking good. Next up, six Ash Blossom. Did Ash Blossom increase? There's so many pr like prints of this, but it is one of the best looking ones. Let's see. Okay, not looking too good. Oh, we went off a cliff here. What happened? Okay, 681. We got six of them for like 10 bucks each. All right, so we had $40.86. So we lost about 20 bucks on that. Not the worst thing. Kind of evens out that catastrophe, unfortunately. We're still up a little bit so far, I think. Well, plus this, we're up a lot. But let's see what Pot of Desires is doing. This is an unlimited ulti. I'm sure the pot collection didn't help this one. Yeah, pot collection is definitely not going to help. Let's see. 66, 6 54. That is a lot better than I expected with the pot collection reprint. We're still, we're up 1150. Not bad. And then of course the locked in here. So far it's looking good. Then we got our tune Black Sister Soldier. I don't have high hopes for this one because it's out of a, it was a little bit shorted. So maybe this one's held up decently as the secret rare. Yeah, it looks like it's about the same. We're looking at 550. See so yeah, how we're down a little bit. 550. We've lost about $2.34. Okay. Instant fusion. Is this banned now? I can't remember if they banned it or not. We were worried it might get banned. So we put 120 22 and I'm not feeling good about that. All right. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, it's not good. 8397. I was not happy about this one. Chat made me buy this. If you guys remember, this was a Twitch chat. They picked all these. So, I mean, I had a little input, but they made me do this instant fusion. I remember not liking it, but now we have 10 night beam. Maybe that'll bring us back. Night beam ulti. Shout out to DZ. Come on. Give us something big. Near mint. Wait, is it first dead? Yeah, it's first dead, right? Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. 1375. Wait a second. Wait a second. We're up $31 on the night beams. Wow. That's crazy. I would say sell them, but like when you sell 10 different packages, it's probably going to end up being, you know, with shipping and everything and fees, we probably wouldn't even make any money on that. All right. Baxia ultimate rare. Let's check in on that one. So far, pretty solid right now. We're really not looking bad. We've had some bad losses, but we've had some really good ones as well. Near mint 3298. That feels high. Oh, it's slightly high. Not much. I mean, if we sold it, we would not make money because, you know, shipping and fees would be more than 248, but we're still up 248. That's not bad. We'll take that any day of the week. Now let's go to Yazi. Come on, Yazi, be up. Oh no, $26.99. Okay, okay. The outside thing made it look cheaper. Oh wait, we're actually up money. That's not bad. $26.99. All right, we'll take it. Rescue Rabbit coming up next. Secret Rare. Last time we were down a little bit. Let's see about the Rescue Rabbit. Can we get a little increase from the Rescue Rabbit? Oh, $8. That's not promising. But if we go to Near Mint first at, what is it? 1975. Okay, a little better. A little better. A little better. Ah, we're still down. We're still down a little bit. Not terrible. We'll take it. Rising Energy Ulti. We got a couple of these. We're almost to that infamous fiber jar. You guys remember that? We'll, we'll flash back to that just for fun in just a second. Okay, Rising Energy Near Mint first. I'm not expecting this one to be up. 11? 11.19. Wait. Okay, wait. So if it's two of, we might have actually almost broken even here. We lost $1.35. Really not terrible, to be honest. Fiber jar. Um, so I took this out, I think, because we were just kind of keeping it consistent because I got a refund. Uh, but this is the original. If you guys don't know what happened with this one, let's just flash back to the moment right now. This just came out of the package like this. So that's not awesome. Hopefully nothing was dinged. Anything on the service actually looks pretty good, surprisingly. This is not real. All right, after reliving that awesome memory, one of the funniest things has happened on the channel. Not a great memory though. Joel and Lockbird, near mint rare, okay? Let's see if this rare went up. I mean, it was really cheap before, so I mean, how could it even go down, right? It has to go up. 
in theory. Wait, I think it did go up. Wait, why is it? There's a 75 cent listing and then everything else is two. Wow, 250. Okay. All right, I think we spent what? $1.40 each? I didn't do the math here. I think these are originally $1.40 total, but I didn't do it. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we bought them for like 40 or 50 cents because they had just come out. I'll just go with it like that. Okay, so now it's $2.50. So it looks like those have got up a lot. If I mess that up, then uh, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it was originally $1.40 total. So we're up $6. Those make sense because they were really cheap, like staples that you want to have. And they were actually kind of hard to pull from booster boxes. You wouldn't get a play set every time. Okay, Gate Guardian Secrets, the memes that we bought from Simply Unlucky Store. Store. Yeah, we bought a bunch of secret rare gate guardians for some reason. Yeah, look at these. A dollar twenty. We bought them for like five bucks each. Come on. Oh, the pain. We bought 23 of them. Yeah. So we lost $73 on those. Congrats, Twitch chat. Everybody, clap for Twitch chat. You guys are really smart. You killed it. <laughs> All right, battle fader ulti. Let's check on that. Unlimited ulti, by the way. <laughs> Edison, shout out to Edison. Time to sell this. Whoa, $125.99. We went up $96, a 320% increase. Wow. And look at sales. It looks like they've recently been bought out. That has to be it. Because like Near Mint first said there were two for 58. Whoa, that is crazy. Definitely time. These will be one that I'm moving after the video. That is insane. Wow. Okay, that makes a big difference. That was really what our big winner of today, I think. Should have bought more than one of those. I remember this was like an afterthought. We had like 30 bucks left and I was like, Battle Fader is a cool card. Yeah, it is a cool card. Now we got Petite Moss. Remember, none of these were actually Near Mint, but we're going to calculate them as Near Mint. Petite Moth. These were unlimited. Okay, it had a reprint. 25th anniversary. Killing the Petite Moth stock. I know. Crazy. 49 cents. That's probably about what we bought them on, right? Not bad. So overall, this is what we're looking at. We have... We spent a thousand. We now have $1,176 and 40 cents. So we're up a little bit. This seems to be a messed up formula. I got to fix that. Okay. So we're up 18%. That looks a little more accurate than up 650,000% or whatever it was. Uh, that would be nice. I'd be happy with that. So it looks like what I'm going to be doing after this, the only thing I'm going to potentially try to move is the battle fader because it's at $125 right now, which is absurd. It's unlimited. Uh, very cool. We'll take that. Overall, a much better year than 2022. That year, we, I mean, it was disappointing from the very get go. This year's looking a lot better i think that if we kind of sell through what's up and what's down as we go we have a much better chance to have our portfolio go up but if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this we will do an update about three months and then probably one we'll definitely one at the end of the year see how it went and then maybe we'll do it again with a little bit more of a twist shout out to home flow show daxer jt cho puffins of doom ernesto dienda micycle america doyster supreme sage 21 and Undertale show ian musa junior barding and mimic echo thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace